Tim, I, I want to ask you about defending Tatum, the challenge of that, uh, taking that on, and, and, you know, what makes him so difficult to defend? Um, I mean, I think our the biggest thing that we've had going for us is, you know, how we've defended and how, how we've just kind of stepped it up. You know, I think our minds have been locked in. I think we've been sharp. We've been together. Um, and it's been like a... Um, whatever it takes mentality, you know. Uh, I think, like I was saying before we left on the road trip is, you know, what are you willing to do to, to dig yourself out, you know? Like, how how desperate are we willing to go out there and look and be and, and behave? And um, <clears throat> no different than the Indiana situation. You know, Brogdon had 14 in the first quarter, and I was like, we need to win these games. You know, we need to we need to get stops. We need to have a presence. We got to take a challenge. And um, tonight was was pretty much the same thing. He, uh, I think Tatum had like 24 in the first half or something like that. Um, and he, he's difficult to cover because you know he can go right, he can go left, he can step back right, step back left. He's so tall. His release is high. Um, he can draw contact. I mean, they they run a lot of good actions for him, and you know, put him in in positions where where he can be trouble. Um, and, you know, once he had that 24 in the first half, I just, you know, I was like, let me, let me guard him. You know, I think um, I'm strong enough to guard uh, bigger guys and I'm, I can move laterally good enough and I can get underneath him, you know, and, um, you know, just make him a, a little bit more uncomfortable, especially at that size, uh, you know, and we had that closing stretch where like all that matters is who wanted, who wanted the most, you know, how, how can we pull these wins out? And, and that was that, you know, we communicated it amongst ourselves. So, I mean, that was it. I think this is the best you guys have played all year. I think it is. Um, you know, I think at the end of the year, we kind of struggled, but we found a way. Uh, and then we were, weren't healthy. Then everybody came back and we were healthy, but we, you know, we weren't on the string. We weren't, you know, really clicking. Um, you know, and I think now we, we trended in that direction where, you know, we on the same page on defense and on the same page on offense, guys are getting in better grooves, um, you know, and we're, we're doing things that we haven't been doing, which is defending, rebounding, um, sharing the ball uh, and doing the small things that it takes to win games. Jason quick with the athletic. Dane, does your guys turn around feel as abrupt as it does to people from the outside, you think? Um, I don't. I think it may be different from people on the outside, um, especially like you guys. Typically, um, after games, y'all be right there, you know, so you can kind of like feel the mood in the locker room, and hear our interactions, and you know, have like a little conversation before somebody leave the locker room or whatever. You you had that opportunity, but you don't. So now it's like, what's going on out there on the court? And then you talk to us through a through a laptop, and you know that's that. Um, but I think all along it was like what I told y'all. You know, it was frustrating. You know, we're not playing well. Things aren't aren't going our way. But like, what, while we were in the middle of it, we were trying so hard to work ourselves out of it. You know what I mean? So like, I kept telling the team in huddles and in the locker room, like, man, look, sometimes like. When you're trying so hard to get get things to turn around and and make things right when it's going bad, sometimes it continues to get worse. You know, sometimes it's like you continue to be tested before you get that that breakthrough moment. You know, and that was kind of my message. Like, man, even though it seemed like you know shit is just getting worse, we got to keep our heads down. We got to keep pushing forward. Um, you know, we got to stay together and be prepared for, for things to turn around. You know, there's nothing wrong with being frustrated. There's nothing wrong with, wrong with being irritated. Um, but we got to keep working and moving forward. And, um, you know, that that way, when it does turn around, we're giving ourselves a chance to get to that point where we have a breakthrough. And um, I think because I was, I was in the locker room and you guys weren't, and we were all there knowing that we communicate with each other. We trying hard um, to do things and it just wasn't turning around it doesn't feel as abrupt because of that, you know, it's like, to us, it's like, we've been like working towards this and it just hasn't been looking good once we get on the floor. So um, I think that's why it looks that way to you guys, but I don't think it, it feels that way, even though it, it kind of does cause we winning games now and we're doing things that we weren't doing, but I know why it's not abrupt, you know what I mean? Right, yeah. 
it was a buildup. Yeah, it was a buildup, like behind the scenes, though. Like, right. 